All right, YouTube. The decision was made to fully rebuild this 044 Magnum. And with all of the parts that are now in, it's still going to be well under what a comparable 70 plus cc capacity saw would cost new. For example, a still MS 462CM would run probably $1,300. Uh, so I think there's going to be around 600 in parts in this. So we've got the cases broken down, cleaned up some of the really gunky stuff. And as you can see, I have gone in and cleaned up uh, gasket and ceiling surfaces and removed the guide pins in the crankcase. So there's still some really nasty gunk in places, especially in here and on this half of the crank crankcase. Back in there, I tried to pick some of it off. So at any rate, um, that's going to go into the parts cleaner. I'm going to have to do one half at a time because the 8 liter parts cleaner that I have, which is right here. I currently have it warming up here on the left. Target is 40 degrees Celsius. I'm going to be putting them in there for 20 minutes. You can see I have the oiler taken apart. That's going to go in there as well. And uh, I already have a little container with some other odds and bits parts that are pretty dirty I want cleaned. And uh, so that's two gallons of water and two cups of dish soap plus two tablespoons of baking soda. There's all kinds of solutions that you can use. Um, this one as well as a similar concoction minus the uh, soap but with you know half and half vinegar and water um, and a little bit of soap is another option. There's also various concentrates out there. These here are not going to be hazardous, so they'll be easily uh, disposed of, um, as you would dispose of any common household waste. So, this is going to warm up. When we get to 40 degrees, I'll be turning on the parts cleaner. And then I will be back at you. After the parts have been cleaned, so you can see how well the parts cleaner works. And then we'll continue with the rebuild of the saw. All right, we have reached our 40 degree mark. Got a little container right here. I'm gonna throw some jewelry in there and get that cleaned. At the same time I'm doing a chainsaw. Take advantage of the parts cleaner when you Get it fired up. Temperature just dropped there a little bit. Anyway, we got her set for 20 minutes. Let's get the top off here. All right. Gonna drop our jewelry in. So 40 degrees, just a little over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And so you can easily take your hand and dip it in there. Okay, we're gonna go with the clutch side first. And let's see here, hopefully. Yep, we got enough room. All right, fortunately, not enough room to put both halves. Now you can see the water is pretty high. I may need to take a little bit out of there. Um, I don't want it to water to come out the top of the lid. So anyway, we're ready to go here in a second. Let me go ahead and... That's what these babies sound like. It's not terribly hot or anything. And you can see, as soon as I turn it on, it's starting to bubble up there pretty good. I mean, it starts working right away. So, we'll be back at you after uh, we're done. 
to see how well it worked on that crankcase. Let's see what we got here. You just finished 20 minute cycle. See whether or not we've got to put these through another cycle. There's some dirt in the water, but it's not really dirty, so I don't know if it worked well. Let's find out. I'm sure the jewelry and the little parts are probably absolutely fine. So I don't need to do this, but grabbed a couple, a pair of kitchen tongs. Don't tell my wife I did this. <laughs> Just makes the... Well, here I thought I was going to keep from making a mess. So much for that. Now, if you use soap, it's pretty slippery, so you just got to make sure you grab it tight enough, I guess. Pretty clean since I used a lot of, well, two cups of dishwashing soap. I will end up uh, having to rinse these. But yeah, pretty clean so far. There's the. Ooh, look how dirty that water is. Those parts were pretty dirty. I'm actually going to dump that out elsewhere. I can tell the parts are super clean. I don't know if you can see that or not. But yeah, I'll go dump that out. Let's check out the crankcase and see how she turned out. That solution can still be used. Not very dirty. Okay, you can see that there's still some dirt in there. And definitely cleaner than it was. But I think it could stand to go through another round. So that's what we're going to do. Put it in for another 20 minutes. I really want to put in two. But yeah, it's just not going to go... All right, another round for the crankcase. I think maybe what we're going to do for the, this round is we're also going to add the old piston and cylinder. Even though I'm not reusing it for this rebuild, it'll be a spare part for the future or for another turd saw that comes in. Got the fluid now, might as well take advantage of it as much as we can. Hopefully I can fit the cylinder in here with the crankcase half. Good, I can. need that on it obviously all right
Is it gonna fit? No. Musical chainsaw parts. There we go. Now I think we're good. There we go. We will reset it for another. Actually. I think we'll go 30 on this one. Since we got a dirty cylinder in there. 45 degrees, 30 minutes. All right, back at you, YouTube. See how clean those oiler and chain brake parts are. You know, if you can spend the time and deal with the disposal of the solution. It's really a pretty handy tool to have. And they're not crazy expensive. You can get real small ones for probably $100. Um, this part cleaner here, I think, was maybe $200. Can't remember. But as long as I get a uh, few years out of it, cleaning a bunch of different parts, I think it's definitely well worth it rather than scrubbing things by hand. All right, still going through the second treatment on the crankcase, first treatment on the old cylinder and piston. All right, we are approaching the end of the second cycle. You probably can't see, but I did change the temperature up to 50. Uh, you definitely want to make sure you're heating. Uh, it works a lot better when you're heating the solution. I don't know if I mentioned, but uh, you also want to make sure that you're using distilled water, or actually better yet would be deionized water, but uh, I don't have access to that, and I think it's a lot more expensive, but Technically, that would make it work better as well. And if you're not using a water, vinegar, uh, soda, or water, vinegar, soap, or a water, soap, soda mixture, uh, some of the solutions that are meant for cleaning parts uh, that are more or less de contain degreasers probably do work better. But um, I'm actually pretty surprised how well this works just with household uh, cleaning solutions um, so let's see see what we're in for on this crankcase fifty degrees is uh, Celsius is well over a hundred but still you can touch stuff. All right, don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but this particular, this crankcase was just in terrible shape, and there is still some gunk that was, it was so baked on, if I picked it off, I was taking paint with, and it did a, a good job of kind of getting a lot more of it off, uh, but other than that spot there, there's a couple spots. Looks like back in here that a little bit of dirt and grime left. But it's not going to hurt anything back in there. So I think we're just going to call this crankcase or this half of the crankcase good. Yeah. And then we'll throw the other half in. I'm guessing the cylinder is going to need a little more time. Let's see what we got with the piston here. Not terrible. It's cleaned up quite a bit. Uh, needs a lot more work. We're going to keep it in there. Cylinder's probably going to be in exactly the same shape. Getting better, both inside and out, but needs more time. So we're going to keep onward with 
those for another we're gonna go 30 minutes this ignition side of the crankcase is nearly as dirty there's a little bit here in amongst some of the embossed portion of the case not too dirty here on this side so i'm we're just going to treat this for sure just once all right so i guess at least you get the idea of what these parts cleaners are all about I may actually have an issue here. This is side of the crankcase is much taller. And I have to lay it down. And see if I can find a way to get the cylinder in there still. Might be a little more challenging. Wow, we are going to get her to fit. All right. Well, cool beans. YouTube, bull man out. Have a good one. All right. Let's see how the final round of treatment on the cylinder and piston went. I did have to scrub it in between the last two treatments or cycles to get some of the built up carbon off. I'm guessing I didn't quite get everything off. You can see there's a little bit there in the fins. You can't really see in here too well, but we got 90% of the stuff out. We're actually not too bad here. You might be able to tell the water's pretty dirty. Piston's nice and clean. Yeah, there's a good chance it could reuse that piston if we get a turd saw in or a decide to use it as a spare. I didn't take the rings off. Probably should have, so I'm still going to have to clean probably back in there, but yeah, maybe those could be used, reused someday. Alright, so now you might get the idea of what a parts cleaner can do.